Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the AND function in Excel. The AND function is one of Excel's logical functions. One of the first ones most people learn to use is the IF statement, which is a logic test followed by inserting either the value if the logic test is true or the value if the logic test is false. The AND function works like this. You have a series of logic tests that you would like to compare. In order for the AND function to return a true result, every single logic test in the function must be true. The syntax for an AND statement, as usual, starts with an equal sign, followed by AND, open parenthesis. The first argument will be your first logic test, followed by a comma, the next argument, will be your next logic test, comma, if you're going to continue adding more arguments until you reach the maximum of 255. When you end, you close with a closing parenthesis. A logic test is simply something that can be compared and give you a true or false result. For example, I may want to consider the contents of B5 and see if they contain a number greater than 10, in which case I would simply put B5 greater than 10. That would be one logic test. Your logic test can use a variety of comparison operators. The usual ones we normally could think of in this, less than, less than, and greater than, equals to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. Here we have an Excel spreadsheet open we're going to do an AND operation in column L of this Excel table to evaluate which are the easy sell homes. We will want to see a true show up in our column if it's one that has at least two bathrooms and at least three bedrooms because those are the ones that will be easier to sell in today's real estate market. I start in cell L2 in the usual fashion for me, which is equals, followed by and, open parenthesis, to start my function. And then I'm going to click the insert function button on the formula bar to open up the dialog box. In column H, I have the number of bathrooms. In column I, I have the number of bedrooms. My first logic test will be simply H2 greater than or equal to 2. I want to look at only homes that have at least two bathrooms. My next logical argument, I2 greater than or equal to 3, because I want to also look only at those that have at least three bedrooms. Again, click OK, and it will populate the column L with the formula. So all of these now have that same formula. And you can see which ones are true and which ones are false. If my client wants only homes that have at least two bathrooms, even though this one has three, I would eliminate it from my evaluation and presentation as an option for the client. Let's do a quick summary. And statements are a logic test. And they allow you to evaluate multiple logical conditions in one statement. They can be used as a standalone with a true or false result, or quite often you will include them in another function such as an if statement. Syntax is simply equals and open parenthesis, first argument, comma, second argument, and so on until you have entered all your arguments, ending with a closing parenthesis. 